Well, we're going to look into uh, libraries now under our component tab over here. We'll find it. Uh, there's a few parts in here that are nice and we can use miscellaneous connectors, miscellaneous devices, but we might want to add some libraries. Remember we downloaded and then uh, unpacked all those libraries. So let's look how to do that. I'm going to come here to this menu item where it says operations and I'm going to click file based library preferences. Here I can see uh, projects and search path and installed. I want installed. These are the libraries that I have installed. Well, let's say I want to install the ECE library that we downloaded from our FTP site. I'm going to click install. I'm going to go to the folder where I saved it. This is where I've unzipped it. And I want to look at all files. And I'll see here that I have a schematic library and I have a PCB library. Actually I have more than one. So let's do this. So I'm going to highlight my PCB library, my schematic, and my PCB library. And I'm going to tell it open. Now it's going to install those. So now when I come up here and I look at my libraries, I'll see that I have an ECE library. Look, there's my schematic library. And here's a bunch of parts that we use in our schematics right here on campus. Here's a potentiometer. Let's see what else we have. A jack for audio. Here's the pick. There's a lot of parts we have available. So let's take a look at one. I'll just place one and we can get rid of it after we place it. Here's a pot. I can place this pot on our schematic. Now this pot was available uh, from our ECE library. You don't want to use the pot from the miscellaneous library because they have the pin numbers mislabeled. Pots are always pin 1, pin 2 is a wiper, and pin 3. I don't know why they do this, but in Altium, on their miscellaneous, they have the wiper as pin 1. And if you do that, you build your PCB and you plug the part in, these two pins are going to be swapped and things aren't going to work right. So this is what we use. I can highlight this guy, look at the properties. I can see that he's a, a pot. I can change the value. It's currently 10K. I can add a, add a different value if I want. You'll see all the properties available here. So keep that in mind. This is how you add a library. I'm not going to need this part, so let me highlight it and hit delete. That's how you add a library. There's many other libraries available. Remember, we, we had file-based preference. I can tell it install. Remember, we had all those libraries that we put in from the Altium library. It was huge. Let's see. Uh, oh, I got to go up one more. I happen to have mine down here. Altium Library. And we have all these manufacturers, right, that we've downloaded all these parts. So I could open another one if I needed another one. Maybe I could go to Microchip and say, yeah, I want the uh, 18F series microcontrollers. I just installed a library. I should be able to come up here now and say microchip 18, 1800 series. Here's the 8 bit microprocessors. I can come down here and look at all the parts they have. So we currently use in design one the 4620. And there's a 4620. Now you want to select the right one because you want to get the right footprint. Here's a PDIP. That's the one we use. So if I double click this guy, I could put the 4620 on here. So you see how to add libraries. You see how to select the parts. That's what uh, makes Altium so powerful is there are so many parts available. Uh, eventually we'll have another video. I'll show you how to make a part if you need it. Alright, that's it for this quick video.